This is an instructional video on how to set a Bermad model 420 pressure reducing valve. For the purpose of this demonstration, the water is flowing from the left hand side to the right hand side. And we have a three way pressure reducing pilot, which is sensing the pressure on the downstream side here. When you're setting a pressure reducing valve for the first time, the most important thing to do in step number one is to release all the air from the control chamber. So the first thing we do is we turn the three-way tap to the closed position, which applies water to the top cover of the valve. Then slowly, we turn the three-way tap to the open port to vent a small amount of water out of the chamber. We turn it back to the closed port to apply more water. We turn it to the open port again, and we do that to continually until such time we release all of the air out of the control chamber. Then we turn the valve back to the closed port. The valve will remain closed. The next thing that we do is that we turn the adjustment bolt on the pilot anti-clockwise completely. This tells the valve we want to start with the pressure at zero. We now turn the three-way tap to the auto port. So the pilot is now live. Now very slowly, and this is very important to understand, one rotation of this adjustment bolt turning clockwise is approximately 80 kPa. If the sub mains are empty, you need to bring this valve up to speed very slowly. So by turning the pilot clockwise very slowly, the minute we see water start to vent out through the cover, out through the vent, the valve will start opening. Here we can see water venting, the valve is starting to open, and it's now pressurizing the submains. It's now the best time to leave the valve. Wait until such time the pressure has filled up all of the, the, the water mains, and the submains will be at a very low pressure as shown on the downstream side here. After it's all charged, continue to turn the adjustment bolt clockwise to increase the pressure. You'll note as soon as I stop, the water stops venting, but the pressure rises. So you do it slowly and incrementally until such time that you achieve the pressure you want to get to. So in this instance, if we are raising the pressure to 200 kPa, I will slowly turn the bolt clockwise. The water stops venting. And now the pressure has come up to 200 kPa. So the pressure reducing valve is now set to regulate that pressure. We tighten the lock nut. One of the things that is very important to check, if you turn the adjustment bolt clockwise to increase the pressure and nothing comes out through the vent, it means the valve's 100% open. So you need to wait until such time that the sub mains charge. That's why it's important to do it slowly and incrementally. If you require further information on the valve, such as an operation or instruction manual, this can be obtained from our website at bermad.com.au. Thank you for watching.